If you think there's only one fried rice, then this is the beginning of a beautiful adventure. All right, today we're making fried rice, but not just any fried rice. We've done that before, okay? It's easy. Today we're taking the two best fried rices in my book and pitting them head to head and deciding which one is worth actually making. But let's talk more action and let's make this, shall we? All right, Old Faithful Fried Rice. This is the one that most of us know, Chinese style, more specifically, Yang Zhao style. Pronunciation meter, check, all right, great. And then there's Thai, which is dope because I served it in a pineapple. What more do you want me to say about that? You're welcome. Let's start with the Chinese version. First, the fried rice. You gotta have it, let's be poised here. Small bowl, two tablespoons or 37 grams of soy sauce, two teaspoons or seven grams of Shaoxing rice wine, one teaspoon or four grams of toasted sesame oil, and a generous pinch or two of ground white pepper. Give it a little whisk, now get yourself a beautiful wok. Add in two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil and heat that on high heat, swirling occasionally. Now while it's getting hot, start prepping your veg. Two small carrots, very finely diced, half a small yellow onion, also finely diced, and two cloves of garlic, very finely chopped. Once your wok is yodeling or very hot, whichever comes first, add your carrot, onion, and garlic. Season lightly with salt and stir fry until your veg begins to soften about two minutes. Then you'll add six ounces or 170 grams of peeled and deveined shrimp that have been cut into half inch pieces. Stir fry until that's cooked through about three minutes. And the next bit is totally optional, but good lord, it is good. You're gonna add half a pound or 226 grams of cooked chashu pork that's been chopped into small cubes. Oh, who has cooked chashu on hand, Josh? Well, if you don't have it, then don't add it. Anyway, stir fry that till hot about one minute. Then add in four cups or 670 grams of cooked and chilled medium grain rice. Full pause. I know what you wanna do. You wanna just cook your rice and add it to the wok right away. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Thing. If you are going to use freshly cooked rice, you might as well go home. You're gonna get clumpy <laughs> fried rice. It's all mushy gushy and no funny mm -hmm. oney. Cooking and then chilling keeps the individual grains individual for the proper texture. Anyway, stir fry all that together. And once your rice is hot and beginning to crisp up lightly, it's eggy weggy time. Scoot everything over to one side. Fill that now open side with another two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Beat two to three whole eggs together. Pour them into the empty side. Get with a touch of salt and scramble for one to two minutes or till cooked through. Chop that up using your wok spoon. Then toss everything together. And finally, add in half a cup are 70 grams of frozen peas, three green onion thinly sliced, your sauce from earlier, and stir fry until everything is thoroughly incorporated. And you've got the classic fried rice vibes just right. Turn the heat off, stir in two additional cloves of finely chopped garlic, pop into a bowl, top with green onion, and that's your fried rice. Time for Thai fried rice. Oh, served in a pineapple, what is this, some sort of tourist trap? Look, I just think the pineapple looks cool, but it's about what's inside that counts. So we worked to get this relatively traditional, although not perfect. First, fried rice sauce. Small bowl, add one and a half teaspoons or four grams of shrimp paste, one tablespoon or 18 grams of fish sauce, and two teaspoons or 12 grams of soy sauce. Mix together till combined. Now in a separate bowl, add one and a half teaspoons or four grams of granulated sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon or two grams of white pepper, and one and a half teaspoons or three grams of curry powder. Usually in Thai cuisine, curries are made from a spice paste rather than a powder. This isn't seen that often, but it is seen in pineapple fried rice. Now on to what feels so wrong, but also so right, the pineapple bowl. First, split a pineapple clean in half. Mm -hmm. Oh, real nice. That was my favorite leaf. Thanks, Josh. Try to leave your leaves intact and scoop out the flesh to sort of make a bowl in the pineapple like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, a basin. Feel free to use that flesh that you scooped out for later in the recipe or just eat it. And let's jump to a quick prick non pla sauce. For serving, first add two to three Thai chilies thinly sliced, five cloves of garlic thinly sliced, either with a knife or if you want them consistent, I recommend a finger death trap, also called a mandolin. Two tablespoons or two grams of cilantro, rough chopped, one tablespoon or 90 grams of palm sugar that's been very finely chopped, two and a half tablespoons or 40 grams of fish sauce, and a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of lime juice. Mix together and you have a fantasy land of perfectly balanced funk, salt, acid, sweet, spice, umami. Next, you'll need about 14 medium shrimp peeled and deveined, cut into small pieces, about little half inch chunk of roonies, and three quarters of a cup or 100 grams of cashews. You can pop those in the oven set to 350 for about seven to 10 minutes or until nicely toasted. And let's stir fry this bad boy. First, wok. Add a couple tablespoons of oil to coat the bottom. Heat over medium high. Add in two finely diced medium shallots and three cloves of thinly sliced garlic. Season lightly with salt and stir fry for about one minute or until the veg starts to soften. Add in your shrimp. Stir fry for two to three minutes or until the shrimp is cooked through. Place that in a bowl, set to the side. Add another two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Heat that until ripping hot. Then beat two to three large eggs together until homogenous. Pour those in. Cook and scramble until about two thirds of the way cooked. Chop it up. Then add in four cups or 560 grams of cooked and chilled jasmine rice. Not any other rice. Jasmine rice. Stir fry for another minute or until the rice is heated through and starting to get a little bit of those crispy bits. Add in your spice mix from earlier, followed by your sauce. Stir fry together until stained, like fried rice church glass in a way. Then add one cup or 213 grams of fresh diced pineapple, fresh, okay? Don't go to the store and be like, oh, I think I'll get the little can. <laughs> no, followed by three tablespoons or 45 grams of golden raisins. Put your shrimp back in there and stir fry that for about one minute or until it starts to become a nice little happy family. Oh, so sweet. Now, turn that heat all the way off and add two thinly sliced green onions, optionally one Roma tomato, finely diced. I'm not a huge fan 
fan of the tomato in there. I've seen it used in some recipes. Not sure how common it is. Followed by your toasted cashews. Tossed together until thoroughly combined. And you're done, right? Wrong. The most important step. Pineapple bowl. Feels wrong. Just looks good. I can't help it. Stack on your fried rice to create a beautiful dome top. Almost like the other half of your pineapple is breathing the Thai fried rice. Garnish with Thai basil and a little bit of cilantro if desired. And that just looks glorious. But let's not waste any time and see our winner. Two fried rice, one man. Don't go to that website. All right, so we have the Chinese style. Mommy. It's gonna be a hard battle, I'll tell you what. Except for what does that taste like? If you had fried rice, it's classic. Salty, rich, umami, and good. Next one, first off, the sauce. Beat that in there. Okay, oh my God, someone's calling me. The verdict is in. What's that taste like? This one has the whole rainbow. Salty, sweet, umami, a little spicy, acid, and herbaceous. Voting time. I'm gonna keep this very basic. If you're gonna make fried rice at home, you gotta make both of these. This is a perfect version of what we all love. This is a boat at midnight. It's a new experience. You choose, it's up to you. Equally as easy, but you wanna know what else is easy? B-roll.